Hello there again everybody, this is Adam and I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about some of the more rare wrestling DVDs. Uh, of course, any DVD that still displays the old WWF scratch logo from the Attitude Era is a pretty highly sought after item. These were taken out of circulation pretty quickly, but thankfully a lot of us were able to obtain these items at a very large discount. Take for example uh, a lot of the uh, early WrestleManias that were available on DVD. I was uh, almost jumping for joy, if you can believe me doing such a thing, when I was able to pick up WrestleMania 2000, the two disc set. Um, it has the entire show, plus it also has a, a full DVD of uh, retrospective footage taken from the WrestleMania All Day special that aired on pay-per-view just before the event. Of course, uh, WrestleMania X7 is another one that people like to get. I have WrestleMania X8 as well, um, however, uh, I don't have a cover for it. I don't really know how that worked out, but um, it happened. Also, the Best of Raw Volume 1 and 2 on the same DVD. This is great. I used to have the Best of Raw on VHS, but there's a ton of bonus features on each volume uh, that make it well worthwhile getting the DVD if you're able to and if you can afford it. Sometimes it goes for quite a high sum of money these days. But uh, you'll want to get it because it's a, it's a great retrospective look at what was really an exciting time in this company uh, and actually in wrestling in general. A lot of things were changing back then. Now to some non-WWE items. These aren't exactly rare, but I remember when they came out in stores, they were very expensive. At least in my area they were. You can occasionally find them. But, generally speaking, once people have these, they don't really want to let them go. And that's some of the original uh, Pioneer Home Entertainment releases on ECW. We have uh, Anarchy Rules 99, Hardcore History, uh, Deep Impact, Path of Destruction, and Extreme Revolution. And, sorry, Extreme Evolution. I have a couple more that uh, I don't have here right now. They're, they're somewhere else in the house. But these are great. Um, the entrances for people that are really picky about those things, entrances and, and music is either dubbed or completely removed. So if you're a stickler for that sort of stuff, you want to go and get the original VHS releases from, say, uh, RF Video or someone who has taped the pay-per-views off of television if uh, you know you want those. The other thing about DVDs is there are some really bad cheapo ones out there uh, that are not rare because even though they may not have been printed in large quantities, nobody wants them. Uh, so there you have it. A look at some of the, the rarer items. Um, basically anything with the WWF Scratch logo is, is getting harder and harder to find. And um, oh, <laughs> Of course, uh, this one is becoming a little bit of a collector's item as well, but uh, I don't think I have to tell you why. Anyway, that's all for now. We'll come back later with uh, maybe a look at some of the these kind of no-name DVDs that I mentioned. I'll catch you next time.